Amanil Kumar sharing with you an excellent example on inverse normal distribution. We'll understand the concept with the help of this particular example. The question is, SAT math and verbal test scores are always standardized such that the, they follow a normal distribution with mean of 500 and standard deviation of 110. If 10% of students score higher than X on the math test, find the value of X, right? So that's the question for us. So what we're trying to say here is that this follows a normal distribution, which is kind of like this, where the mean is 500. So let's say this is the mean, which is 500. And the standard deviation will be uh, where the concavity changes for us on our diagram kind of here 110 so 110 more will give us 610 marks here right this will be 610 and 110 less will be 490 right so 100 takeaway is uh, 400 and further take 390 right so 390 so that is 110 on either side. Now it says, if 10% of students score higher than X on the math test, find the value of X. So, so most of the students are in this group. So only 10% score higher. That means we're looking for something on this right side. And we want to find this value. That is, that is the kind of question which we are working on, right? So the 10% higher will really mean uh, this group of students. So if 10% of students score higher than X on the test marks, find the value of X. That is what it is, right? So to solve this, I'll be actually using the standardized tables, which are uh, reading from the left side. So I'll use this copy of this table. So we have a standard normal distribution. Table values represent area to the left of the z-score, right? So, so first step will be to translate these numbers into z-score. As you know, z-score means uh, we'll translate. Uh, we have the normal distribution given as 500, 110 square. Uh, will translate this to the normals which is 0 1 correct that's the first step and then we are going to use the table okay so what do we need to find here we need to find if 10 percent students score higher than x on the math test find the value of x right so we are interested in finding the we are given the probability for the score to be uh, we don't know that value A. So we'll call this value A for the time being. And that should be 10%. That means 0 0.10. You get an idea. So this is what the equation is. So since we have the tables, we can see, and that is true from the left side. So what I'll do first step is, we'll write it as less than A will be how much. So, of course, the total area under the curve is 1. So, this would be 1 minus 0 0.10. That is to say 90%. Is that okay? So, I hope that makes sense. See, so we are saying from the left side, less than A means this side. So, of course, you see that big area, right? So, most of the students will be scoring less than top 10 students, right? So, which is 90%. So, that is what we are now looking into. Is that okay? So, to find the value of A, what I will do is, I'll use the table and then check for 90% there. So, which is on the right side, so positive values, okay, 90%, fine. So, that is our standard distribution table, inverse calculation. So, we are kind of doing the reverse calculation. So, we understand the concept, right? So, we have uh, some value here, 0.8997. And we have 0.901. So let's take this one, 0 0.901, which is 1.2. And the second decimal place is 9. So 1.29. Okay. So that gives us from the tables 
a z square z score of 1.29 right so that is approximately 90 percent is it okay so that is z score correct so so we know the z score and we know this how is z score related with x values well we know standard deviation and so we could write that the relation is z score is x value minus the mean divided by standard deviation so we are going to use this formula now correct so z score is 1.29 so we'll write 1.29 as equals to this is my x value a so i'll write a minus the mean of 500 divided by the standard deviation of 110 is that okay so we get the translation back to from z to that that is how they are related now we'll just solve this equation i hope you are understanding these steps so my idea of going slow here is just to make sure that you understand each and every step so to solve for a we'll just cross multiply so we have 1.29 times 100 equals to a minus 500 correct now we can isolate a so this is 129 and bringing 500 here add 500 to find a is it okay so this is 629 is a so that is to say that if you score 629 you are in top 10 percent do you understand so that is how we can uh, solve such a question correct so it says if 10 percent of students score higher than x on the math test find the value of x so we get the value of x should be uh, so the top 10 percent should score higher than Six twenty-nine. That is what we're trying to say here, right? So I hope you understand the whole concept. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you, and all the best.